Welcome everyone, my name is Kylo. Today in Inscription Casey's Mod, we're doing a special Poke Run. We're doing a trainer challenge. Uh, we had suggestions to try, you know, using the Elite Four and the rival uh, teams to see how they'd fare in Inscription. So we're going to start off with, uh, I believe it's Lorelei. I always called her Lorelei as a kid. Uh, Lorelei's team. So we got Dugan, Cloyster, Jinx, Lapras, Slowbro. Their two bloods are plus, so it's going to be difficult. But we'll try and see how it goes. Good health. Lapras, you are going to be an important defender for us. Let's see here. Oh, we can't play Slowbro, so we'll play Dugan. Can't defend, but they can attack. And that is just as important. That'll buy us time, draw some squirrels. One more. It's too bad Slowbro is... The, so these cards are mostly defensive. That's going to probably end up being a real problem for us long run. So hopefully we get some good offensive bonfires and maybe some offensive sigils to transfer. Uh, no, we actually need as much teeth as we can get. Actually, I'm going to pop tooth. Oh, Lapras is one? Oh, never mind then. Spike. No. So I'm looking for cards that have good sigils because part of the trainer challenge is we can only use... I don't think poison works. So armor push. Or confu can not confused. Um... Worst case scenario, so we only have these five in our team. I guess the trainer battle, you typically have six, but the Elite Four, she only used five. I don't know why they only used five. Maybe they're not that bright for how powerful they are. Uh, so every all the other cards we have and don't use will go into our PC. Uh, so I'm going to grab Blast, Toys, to hold on to. Good Water or Ice. Oh, worthy sacrifice. It's better than nothing, though. Many lives would be probably better. Or maybe that's what we get. Uh, many lives, slap that down onto somebody, and then they'll be a worthy sacrifice to get everybody else onto the board. Who do we have? We have Coyote and Porcupine. I can't play anybody anyway, so I don't know why I bother looking. All right. Question. Uh, we are going to need Jinx here. We're going to lose Coyote pretty quick. Oh no, we're not. We're gonna... Yeah, I totally meant to do this on purpose. Of course, Spike's going to revert her back, so it's actually not that beneficial. And we can play Dugong to get us home. I need good abilities. Is there a three blood? Trificated. Yes. Magnifying glass. Boulder. Squirrel. That's our wolf pup. Okay. Yeah, we can wait. See if that messes up with Leshy's card playing. Apparently not. All right. Yeah, we'll wait. Oh. Well, you know what? We will take care of you regardless. Oh no, uh, Wolverine we cannot deal with currently. Why can't that rabbit attack that grand fur? Should be able to, shouldn't it? 
a 1-8 slow bro. We don't need defense. We need offense. Jinx. She have a pet. Ah, she's a 2-5. Okay. Oh. Ooh, hit only double strike. Power. Yeah, everyone keeps power, but Lapras needs to counterattack after blocking, so Lapras will get the po the boost. Jinx extra health means extra power. Let's see. I kinda wanna save Jinx for phase two if we can. Because then if she takes a hit from a Bloodhound, then she'll be powered up. Lapras, can you handle this on your own? I think so. I think Lapras can. And this is why every deck, every team needs a champion. Well, goodbye, Lapras. You served us exceedingly well. Oh, yeah. That beats the whole point. Bless, I do. You're gone. Excellent. There. This is what I want. Not that it matters any, but I just wanted to see Jinx get powered up. No, no, it'll still be useful. I could throw down a boulder, I suppose, to stop the coyote, but where's the fun in that? Especially when we need the teeth. Oh. Thank you, Pack Mule. Well, actually, no, this is we're still okay because Dugong and Coyote are still trading blows. And since the pack mule is temporary cards due to a boss mechanic, they are free to play. Even though we don't need to. But we're going to. Because I like the idea of having teeth. That we desperately need. Darn it. Alright. Oh, like to buzz. A 2-2. Two, two. For one blood. It's so strong. There's so many strong one bloods. But there's a lot of them. That's something good. I'm presuming Eevee's still broken. Zapdos' abilities are terrible. Articuno's abilities are good. Alright, what do we have here? Fledgling? Not bad. Could be useful, may not. Oregon. Flat pour gone into slow bro, that actually might be useful. Water ice? No. Dragon psychic? Jinx is psychic. See now probably the best way to do Jinx is if we had Morsel on her. Get her flip so we get the massive attack bump. Well, let's see here. That is a bit of damage. Just, uh, you know, magnifying glass does not help really at all. Let me use it just to get it out of here. But here we go. What we do have, however, is Jinx. Two to two or six. And there we are. Morsel, somebody? Something. Ooh, Premier Strike. Might be useful. I'm actually going to get a duplicate of Jinx just in case we fuse because she really benefits from the increased stats. 
decrease stats as they were. Okay. Save the boulder. Yes, in case. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, now we definitely do need the boulder. We need Corpse Eater on slow, bro. Honestly. What we really, really need. Luckily we have Dugong to pick up the slack. No, don't attack Jinx. Doesn't deserve it. Alright. Lap rest for the tooth. There's quite a few corpse eaters. Oh, Zubat. Okay. No, we water water or ice would be the only alternative. Loose tail. Oh, there's a forced fusion coming up, so we need to get a great sigil for Jinx. We we have two candles. We have two candles because I do not foresee a way to survive this at all. Well, we can try. Come on, something great. Yes, Death Touch Spike. Alright, Death Touch Spike. On to Jinx. We pulled our other Jinx out of storage from the PC. So now we're going to do a fusion. Yes. Oh, that is perfect. She just needs made of stone to just be perfect. Oh. Uh, hmm. We might not be able to win this, actually. No, we will. If we did not have Lapras, we we would lose. No questions asked. We need Jinx. That is who we need to see. You get a better totem for her, though. Yes. Yes. 11 4 with a clean lane. As long as there's no burrowers, he won't die. There are no burrowers. We don't die. Yeah, we don't have to play anybody else. We're gonna get some teeth out of this anyway. Oh, too bad. Oh, Omni Strike. Yeah, we really don't need Omni Strike. Well, do do do. It's form into the opposing card, Omni Strike, or Freezing Strike. Freezing. Wait, we already have an Articuno. Uh, how about Omni Strike? No, none of you. Bloodlust? Sure. Hourglass? Black Goat, Wise Clock. 
That is three damage. Yes, we can wait. It's going to be four to three. Okay, now we are going to rotate. Maybe not the best move, but it's honestly, it's four to two. I think this is time to draw squirrels. I'm okay with this. I don't want to use Black Goat right now if I don't have to. Great White? Uh oh. Squirrel, Squirrel. Dugong, win. I haven't decided if for the cave trials if I should. If I should pull all the cards out of the PC or not, honestly, um, wow, we're going to win any of these. Like literally, I, there's no way to not win. Um, just try. <laughs> we picked that we picked all three trials that there was no way to lose. Ah, I was hoping for a duplicate. John. Well, I can't use any of them, so it really doesn't matter. Except, except maybe a weird bonfire situation. Alright. We got Odrio. We got Trificator that needs to go someplace special, and I'm thinking Dugong. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. That's what I was worried about. Let's see. I'm going to need... These items are more important than smoke. Well, yeah. Can we get bones, please? About hell. Oh, there we go. Uh, how about War Turtle? All right, Articuno. We are gonna put you on to Lapras. All right, that's four damage on the board. We cannot deal with that. So we will use our black goat. Play Dugong. And win. Let's see here. To be honest, I don't think... The only thing I could think of working for a transfer would be Premier Strike on Hitmonchan and abuse that. But no, I think I'd, there's double... Fusions. We're gonna hit this up. Knife, please. And that is all. On Dugong. Dugong. Yes. Alright, this was the perfect timing for this. Because now Dugong can solo the angler. Oh. But we did not draw. Oh, we did not draw them. Awkward. Very, very awkward. So, what we are going to do... Is we are going to... Knife the Raven. 
play our Jinx Sack of Pelt. At the very least, Jinx can handle. Not anymore, she can't. She cannot handle uh, sharks anymore. Lapras. Oh, here we go. I forgot. Jinx has worthy sacrifice. I honestly forgot about that because it's been very uneventful. You now it really doesn't matter because we're going to be grabbing items anyway, so old amber. Ooh. Hourglass. Bleach. And here we go. Here's our Lorelei uh, deck. She, you know, first off the Elite Four, ready to take on Leshy and the Moon. If we can get to Phase 3 with the Bleach, we've won. And actually, if we get Lampras on the board by Phase 3, we win. Unless we hit Starvation, in which case then all is for naught. Except for Jinx and Bleach. We got two hourglasses. Okay. Jinx, you'll go here. Jinx with nine damage is still amazing. Problem is, oh, we know we got uh, we got hourglass. That's why we don't have to worry about the stump. We play Lapras. Two cards we needed for this fight, and we got them. It kind of helps that our main deck is so small. But that also means is we can't make mistakes. Because if we make mistakes, we have no way to correct. No, Leshy. In fact, it will not. Because... Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll attack them uh, because freezing storm is not stopped by made of stone. But you know what? If we bleach him, then we really don't care. Jinx, like I'm not taking none of your lip today. Ooh, dugong. Let's finish this out with style. Nice. Massive damage for the win. Our three heroes. And there we are. A trainer challenge with Elite Four Lorelei deck completed. Uh, again, this was suggested uh, along with all the other Elite Four members in the rival from Pelly Drive. So thank you for the suggestion. If you have any ideas for runs you'd like to see or want to let me know what types of runs you want to see more of, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe to see more. And I will catch you later in the next episode.